All right, uh, I could not find a whole chicken to roast, so uh, I got leg quarters, and uh, I got a this pan won't quite fit in, so I gotta bend these lips up, and then uh, cover it with tin foil and put some barbecue sauce in there, and uh, you know, I have it. Uh, I just started it, so by the time I get this set up and seasoned and everything uh, that will probably be warmed up enough so let's give this a try all right there we go four really big leg quarters I'm fixing to cover it with some tin foil and go stick it in the uh, survivor uh, what am I gonna call this thing the silver fire rocket oven <laughs> I'll come up with a name if you can think of something catchy let me know all right, let me uh, get this covered up and go stick it in the oven and set the timer. Uh, I'm going to Google this, but I think 30, maybe 40 minutes ought to do it if, uh, if I can get it up, keep it around 350 or so. All right, I'm going to get that covered and get out there. Man, it's already 375, and I just lit it. I mean, the length of time it took me to uh, put these in there and pour some barbecue sauce on them is how long it took to get this up to cooking temperature. And uh, I started it with some really little tiny twigs. Let me see here. I'll show you what I started it with. And uh, I just threw a couple of big scraps of wood in there. And uh, I don't even have this closed yet. Let me. Uh... All right. Okay. I'm going to put this in there and set my timer for, I think, 30 minutes. I might go 40. If I can keep this up around 375, it's probably going to be closer to 30. So we will see you in 30 minutes if nothing interesting happens. Nothing uh, interesting happening, but I just wanted to show you how there's absolutely no smoke. Uh, there's some heat waves, but no smoke. And that is a sign that you... Uh, you are operating at its uh, it's operating at its premium or geez what word am I looking for <laughs> it's operating at its best that's what I'll say uh, I have been guilty of over and over putting too much wood in here and what you do is you defeat the purpose of using a uh, a stove that operates on the wood gas burning principle by creating too much and it results in smoke which is what you have when you have a regular fire the smoke is a uh, wood gas that has not been consumed so when you keep this at its optimal level of operation it, it does not produce any smoke it consumes everything I love this I love this rocket stove and uh, I sure do like having this option of uh, baking. And this is, uh, I'm not going to get tired of this. Okay. I wish I could back up and give you a bigger shot of this, but I'm up against the wall of my, uh, my back porch. I'm only about two minutes, three minutes into this. See you in a little bit. This stove is at 400 degrees, and I've kept it there for uh, 15 minutes now, 16. And I've been using one stick at a time. That's all I'm using, one piece of scrap at a time. Now, this is bigger than what I'm supposed to use. That's actually the, the size of the fuel, that hole there. That's about the size of the sticks you're supposed to use. But the beauty of this stove is you can use what you have. Uh, what I have is not optimal. But right now, uh, all my sticks are too wet. You know, we've still, uh, we've had a bunch of rain and, uh, anyway, regardless, this is what I'm using, this is what I have, and it's working perfect. 400 degrees, and I've kept it there for 15, 16 minutes. And my dogs are, dogs are fussing. Lucy's chasing a bug. <laughs> Nutty dog. Nutty 
my 30 minute timer just went off so I think what I'm going to do is uh, just leave this on here until the fire burns out uh, it should be just uh, you know five minutes or so and uh, I'll take it out and bring it in see what we got see if they're cooked uh, well I tell you I'm pumped it's too bad someone didn't make someone silver fire didn't make a really good oven this is a piece of crap and the reason I had to do all this is because that's a piece of crap if there was a good stainless steel double walled oven that fit on that stove I would buy it that's how handy having an oven is uh, you know bake a cake cornbread make bread uh, uh, cupcakes, brownies, you know, whatever you, where you bake, roast, chicken. I mean, an, an oven adds a whole new dimension of non-grid dependent cooking. To me, that's important. I mean, this would be uh, for people who camp and want, you know, an option of being able to bake. <sighs> yeah, I, uh, Todd Alby, uh, the guy who owns silver fire you really ought to consider that man I think there's a market for that I know I would buy one that's how handy having an oven is okay uh, I'll let this die down and we'll get inside and get that chicken out of there and make sure it's done well it's uh, almost 170 I would call that done I'm going to get it on the plate, get me a bite.